VMware allows you to use hot plug CPU and memory which enables you to increase the CPU and memory on the fly while the virtual machine is running. We went through deep dive in what are the requirements to have this set up in the previous session. In today's session we are going to do a quick demo of how it is uh, going to be implemented. Just a quick um, recap on um, the prerequisite as we discussed previously it depends on the operating system which you are running. There are quite a few flavors which supports it um, from Red Hat, CentOS, Fedora, it's from version 6. So it's to do with what kernel you are running. If the kernel supports that, you can um, obviously enable this feature. Um, another thing is uh, from, from the point of view of Microsoft Server, it is 2012 and above which is supported you also need to remember that you need to have um, virtual machine which is having a hardware version 7 or above and um, you need to have VMware tools installed and to enable the feature you need to have the virtual machine powered off so first of all let's enable this feature I have this Run test VM which I have created. It's running a uh, center 6 uh, 7.0. So if we go edit settings, as you can see, it's only having one CPU at the moment and it has 4 gig memory. We'll expand this feature and here you go, we have hot CPU hot plug, let's enable that and then expand memory, enable that. So as I was saying previously, ESX has a limitation if your memory is below 3 GB, i.e. if you have 1 gig or 2, uh, 2 gig, you can grow it a maximum of 3 gig. It's to do with CPU architecture, I think. Um, but it's the ESX limitation. If you have a uh, memory less than 3 gig, then you cannot grow it up to 4 gig. You can maximum go it till 3 gig. So it's always better to put a C, uh, set the memory on 4 gig if if the OS needs 4 gig. Or what will happen is you will require a reboot. So once that is set up, you will see the reconfiguration is done. And let's power on the virtual machine and then open the console as you can see just booted the OS So in Linux to list the CPU um, and memory we can do it by a number of options but you need to be logged in as root and then we can say first let's check the kernel you are running uname hyphen a that will show you and um, it will it shows that it's 3.10 um, so what we are going to do is we are going to check the CPU ls CPU. As you can see over here, it says you have one CPU, and um, let's get back and check the memory. CD slash. So cat slash, I'm just reading the file which is um, the command cat slash proc slash meminfo. You can see it's in KBs but it's saying 4 gig memory which is 3.3866345. Uh, Let's minimize this and then get back. 
and C in memory increase the CPU to 2 click OK go back to the Linux version as you can see on the screen here let me page up so we saw it was one CPU now I'm going to give the same command ls cpu sorry it's a one word now you can see it's two CPUs let's quickly increase that again this time I want to jump to 4 CPUs so that you guys can see the difference LS CPU again let's take a quick screenshot For your reference, then give another LS CPU. As you can see over here, CPUs 4 before we had CPUs 2, which you can see. No, you can't see here. CPU family, where is it given here? Over here, as well, you can see the CPU family six, but three CPUs is four. Now, let's do the quick test for memory. Let me clear the screen CLER and then give the command memory, and we can take a quick screenshot as this. It will allow us to take it. Now we'll go back and edit settings again. As you can easily see the advantage of having this running um, so I'm just going to increase this to 1024 times 6 so it's 6114 I'm going to give 6 gig GB total 6114 so that's 6 GB in total if you expand this as you can see the option for hot plug is enabled and grayed out over here as well memory I didn't show you before but for memory enable hot CPU is grayed out as well but I have changed it to 6 gig now so if I click OK let's go back to this system click on it and then we'll give the command again CLER first there we go the total memory was around 4 GB and now it is around 6 GB so easiest way to check that on the calculator is again times this to one zero two four. Which 
basically gives us the near mode figure of this so seven digit figure because it's times one zero two four when we equate it to kb but again it will take some memory and give it to other components so that's the estimated memory we are seeing there you go guys so that's the easiest way we could have done it um we can do the same on windows if you want to see a demo for windows just message me or comment me um below and then we can i can do a demo for you in on the microsoft windows os as well so the benefits again you can increase the cpu and memory on the fly you don't need any turn time so that means you are not impacting the end user when you're increasing the cpu memory so it could happen that you are running a, your user complains that oh they have issues and uh, on the middle of the day you can just go in and increase the cpu memory and give the uh, correct amount of resources to the server for them to be able to you know um, get the job done because obviously if you have memory or cpu contention you can have a lot of performance issues so that's the demo which we have done today and um, don't forget to reach out to me and you can check out my blog i have already posted this session um, question of the day will you use the hot app cpu or hot plug memory so which one do you think is going to be more useful in your environment do you think you are having contention on cpus or memory or do you need more time to increase this feature uh, enable this feature first also don't forget to hit the notification button so that whenever i send um, obviously post the video which is twice a week monday 10 o'clock gmt and thursday 10 o'clock gmt um you if you hit the notification button it will be um obviously it will be updated on your system or your phone that uh, i have sent a new con content out so don't forget to subscribe enjoy watching and keep sharing guys cheers